they somehow managed to keep these two, you know, Sergeant Sika Parker and Pierce alive, whether it be just a floating head, kind of Frankenstein, Frankenstein type deal, and Sergeant Sika Parker with a chihuahua dog's body. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're someone who enjoys talking about movies, whether it's new releases or in this case a retro review, then consider hitting that subscribe button. So it's been a hot minute since I've done a retro review. Um, here on my channel you can find uh, retro reviews under my playlist Hit Rewind. I'll go ahead and put it up here. I don't have too too many but I do have a few so you can check it out there. We are going to be talking uh, today about Tim Burton's Mars Attacks. I have never ever seen this movie. I had actually never really heard of this movie until possibly a year ago I think it was when um, one of my YouTube friends did a review on it and I'm like okay that sounds really interesting and I'm gonna have to check this movie out and I just saw it and wow oh wow. Um, now I am a Tim Burton fan. Um, I really do dig his work. Now to start off this is a very B type movie, a very campy movie with a big major A-list cast. So once we got past like the cattle on fire and we started seeing these like alien ships coming to earth and that's around the time that we got all these credits coming through with who was starting in the movie. After I think like the third, fourth, fifth like star coming through, I'm like, okay, that's it. We're gonna get through these like lesser known people and they just kept coming and coming and coming. We're actually taking place in like different parts of the U.S. Of course, Sergeant Sika Parker's gonna be in New York, you know, Miss um, Sex in the City gal in New York with her husband. I believe it was her husband. If not, it was her boyfriend. Um, Michael J. Fox are both news reporters there in New York. We have the President of the United States, Mr. Jack Nicholson, with her first, uh, with his first lady, Glenn Close, their daughter, Natalie Portman. We go to Vegas. We have another Jack Nicholson over there, Mr. Las Vegas, having his casino. We have Annette Benny, who's the wife, Danny DeVito, who's just uh, one that's playing the, the crap tables. Um, and I mean, again, we just have so many people. You guys, I'll be here like 30 minutes trying to talk about this damn cat. Is this a perfect movie? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's such a fun, campy movie. Like, definitely not one to be taken seriously. I could totally see this movie possibly scaring kids, you know, back in the day because... What, what is this rated? You know, I don't even know what this is rated, you guys. Hold up. PG-13? Well... Technically, there's no blood or guts, but we are getting lasered by these Martians. We are like having the skin just coming off. I mean, not really in a gruesome way, but at the end, we are left with like these radioactive, colorful, skeletal bones. We have Pierce Bronzlin, or we have first Sarah Jessica Parker getting basically kidnapped by the Martians, taken away with her little cute ass chihuahua dog. And we have a little like experiment of taking her head off, taking the chihuahua's head off. Mind you, we don't technically actually see the thing happening, but we do see the aftermath of these Martians being little assholes. Because they are, you guys. The Martians are just assholes. Swapping the heads between the Chihuahua and Tara Jessica Parker and placing them into themselves once we kidnap um, <laughs> Mr. Pierce Bronson, who's the scientist or the head scientist of the White House of the President. <laughs> he gets dismembered <laughs> and we just see body parts hanging. We see his head hanging with stuff popping up. Mind you, we're dealing with like Martians who are like advanced technology, so they somehow managed to keep these two, you know, Sergeant Sika Parker and Pierce alive, whether it be just a floating head, kind of Frankenstein, Frankenstein type deal, and Sergeant Sika Parker with a Chihuahua dog's body. The story, as I do within my reviews, jumps around a lot, so it's like a little hard to follow, but not really, but it is because it's like. We're doing something and then we jump somewhere else and then we're, you know, certain stuff happens and then we're somewhere else. Again, like my videos, has no format. That's probably why I liked it because we have no format here in my channel, as I said numerous times. The Martian look is really, really cool too. Very cheesy, 
short, big head, Martian. You know, when they're up on the spaceship, they're in their tidy whities Well, no, not tidy whities tidy reddies because <laughs> they have the red underwear. They seem to be, you know, just naked with, you know, besides their red underwear. underwear. Um, from, you know, them gearing up to go on Earth, honestly, just think about it as um, monsters versus aliens. No. Yeah, Monsters vs. Aliens with Galactor when they're up on the spaceship and they're like, you know, on that thing and they're giving them, you know, dressing up. Same concept. A lot of the CGI obviously doesn't work anymore, you know, in 2021. I'm sure it was great in 96, maybe not. But a lot of CGI, unfortunately, just is not working during this time. Uh, some of the stuff just doesn't really age well. There's not much in the story, you know, where being attacked by aliens. There are a lot of murders. Best to not get uh, attached to a lot of the characters because a lot of people do die. And again, they're being lasered by these aliens. It's funny. Um, I like when the alien um, is like running with the little like translator. Don't run. We are your friends. And just the way that the aliens were able to be destroyed at the end. <laughs> <laughs> if you're up for like a really really good time then I do recommend Morse Attacks. Again it is on a Netflix. It's not that long. It's definitely under the two hour mark. You're gonna get a great fantastic cast. It's a very very simple story. It's definitely one of those movies that like those turn your brain off type of movie because it's ridiculous again like a little parody campy type of film. Don't take too seriously. I'm now kicking myself that it has taken me this long to watch this damn movie because this is going to be one that I definitely need to buy. It is on Netflix. You guys can currently watch this on Netflix. But I do want a physical copy of this movie to add to my collection. The aliens here are douchebags. There was never really any particular reason why they were invading Earth. Also, uh, because they don't um, know the English language, again, they're just like knackening, knackening. Um, <laughs> we do have like a translator machine, but we don't have it too much within the story. And I'm okay like not knowing really what the aliens are saying or thinking. Like... I think it's okay. Like, I'm, I'm quite, like, there's times that I'm like, damn, I want to know what you're saying. And I'm like, where the hell are my subtitles at the bottom? But they're not there. But it's okay. It's okay. Just know that they're assholes, okay? So before I do uh, let you guys go, um, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. It really does help the channel out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Like I said in my last video, for the remaining of 2021, I do plan on kind of cooling it on my uh, 2021 new release movies and kind of focus a little bit more on like these uh, retro reviews and maybe like some series reviews as well so just kind of look out for those for the remaining of the year but I will still be doing like the big blockbuster uh, reviews I do still plan on doing those Mars Attacks it's not a perfect movie by any means necessary but it's a really really fun time great movie totally recommend it and even though it's not perfect I am still gonna give it a large popcorn I thought it was great you guys again B movie A-list cast fully fully entertained I am totally forgiving you know like the bad CGI or bad things here and there it's great like it like again it's one of those movies you go in there to shut your brain off so you don't really care about the logic the lack of story development or you know a lot of things you guys you you forgive a lot of things well, you don't have to, but I did. <laughs> so if you've seen Mars Attacks, let me know down below what did you think about it. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Did you happen to see it in theaters when it came out back in, again, 96? Um, is it something that you maybe have been wanting to watch but haven't yet had the opportunity to? And I'm here to tell you, go for it. Take it out of your to-watch list and cue that sucker up. All right, guys. So that is it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.